Well, today's trim and detail day here at Legendary Motor Car, and the work on the 70 Judge Convertible, it's continuing to the point where it's all the nice, fun stuff to install. Well, there's some issues. We try and buy as many pieces as we can that are NOS pieces, but there are some items that you're better off to go to somebody like Year One for. Things like carpets, the seat upholstery, the convertible top, the weather strips. Let's face it, if you found those in a box NOS somewhere, Odds are slim to none that you're going to find them. Secondly, they're going to be through the roof. And third, they probably won't even look as good as some of the reproduction items out there, like a convertible top, like an upholstery kit. Some of your viewers have also written in and said, hey, you guys are cheating. You're right. We were working on three cars at the same time, and sometimes we showed you process from one car. We're working on a 71 Judge Convertible, super rare car, one of 17 built. We we're working on the 70 Judge Convertible, and we we're also working on a 70 GTO Convertible. Well, getting back to one of those items that really just doesn't work to buy NOS is the decal kit, the stripe package, the little Judge emblem. Even if you were able to find one on the shelf somewhere, the odds of getting it installed the odds of it sticking properly are slim to none. So what's the trick in putting on a decal kit? Let me take you through the steps. As far as the judge convertible, that's something that you could do in your, your own driveway at your own house. It's fairly basic, it's fairly simple. But if you get into a big decal like on the front of a 74 SD Trans Am car that we've got in the showroom, you probably want to go to a professional well worth the time and the effort. The first step in applying the decal is to make sure the surface is clean, wax-free, oil-free, and free of any other contaminants that would hurt the adhesion of the decal. The second step is placement of the decal. Measuring the center line of the hood, we want to make sure that the bird is absolutely in the center of the hood. After that, we're going to use just masking tape to hold it in place as we work one side at a time. Now we can peel the decal away from the backing. It's ready to be applied to the hood, but before we can do that, we'll have to trim away the backing. Now you're going to spray it with a solution, 50% alcohol, 50% water, and maybe a drop of dish soap. That'll help promote a slippery surface so you can get rid of air, all of the air pockets. Be careful to lower it down, use a squeegee, and firmly push from the center out to get rid of all the air pockets. You're going to take the top masking off and your bird will be installed perfectly the first time. Well, it looks relatively easy and it is on the smaller decals. Just take your time, make sure you work out all of the wrinkles. Try not to get any wrinkles in the first place. Make sure you work out all of the air pockets, squeeze them out to the side. For the big decals, hire in the professionals. We do, well worth the extra expense. <music>